Welcome to the AutoCAD tutorial part 3. Here we will learn the rest of the tools of draw. In draw we have learned line, circle and rectangle. Now we will learn the next tool which is known as ellipse. In ellipse we have center which creates an ellipse using a specified center point. The end point of the first axis and the length of the second axis. You can specify the distances by clicking a location at the desired distance or by entering a value for the length. For this tool, click on it and then you can click on center of the ellipse and then specify the end point for the ellipse. It will ask to specify the distance to other axis or rotation. You can select it by moving your pointer on the drawing area. Click here and you will find an ellipse of a specific length and width here. The second point in ellipse is the axis and ellipse which will create an ellipse or an elliptical arc. To draw it again click on it, specify its end point first and then stretch it to the point you want to take it and then specify the distance by moving your cursor on the drawing window and the ellipse will be drawn. Next there is an elliptical arc. Elliptical arc will check for the end point first then specify the other end point and then set the distance in between which will draw the ellipse like this and press enter to leave the command at that point. This will display the ellipses and arcs but for arc we have a specific command here that will draw the arc in different segments. It will be three point start center and end arc start center and angle arc again we can specify its length its direction its radius and its continue form. Let us start by drawing the three point arc here. The three point arc will be specified in three points. First point, second point and third point. Let us do it once again. Taken the arc given the start point. Now the second point is specified and then the arc is here. Leave the command by pressing enter or spacebar. In this way we can draw other arcs form. Then we have the next command which is known as polyline. Polyline is a 2D polyline drawing. It is connected sequence of segments created as a single planner object. It will continue the drawing till the end you press enter or you leave the command. Just like you continue clicking in the window and the line will go on and on. Here we have priorly specified the width. So let us press W in the command window. Press enter and specify another width which will be just 2 so that the line won't be this much thick. The end point will be again 2 so that the line will continue with the start and end point in the same thickness. It will continue drawing it. This is specifically used by civil drawing draftsmen for their wall and other specification in drawing. And when we will press enter the drawing will be ended. Then we have another command called hatch. Hatch will be filling the whole object with a specific pattern. By clicking on hatch we will get this dialog box hatch and gradient in which we will select hatch and then click on predefined. We can select any of this. There are several options available inside. We can select some of the hatch planning here that is known as fetches. Here it is ISO, other predefined and custom. We will go with ANSI 31 site and click on add pick points. When we will click on add pick points, it will ask you to call or select an object which is a complete object. Select the object and press enter and then click on OK and the drawing or that object will be filled by that pattern. 
here it is very thick joined together but we can set the hedge pattern as per our requirement and we can edit it for our specific pattern today we are ending up at learning arc ellipse h and polyline all the draw tools have been finished right now we will learn for editing and some more updating tools next time in the next tutorial thank you